The absence of an enabling economic environment for sustainable food production represents the biggest single barrier to the transition, the mainstream transition to sustainable food systems. And for people like myself who have been involved with this and, and are advocates of it and involved with developing the organic standards and the organic market, uh, it's been frustrating to see that for all our efforts we've reached a sort of glass ceiling beyond which we don't seem to be able to go through. And it's only come to me quite recently that the real barrier is that there isn't a strong enough business case for producing food in a way which is good for the planet and the environment and public health. And in fact, the signals are the reverse of that. How crazy that if you want to make money in food or farming, the best thing, the, the most profitable practice is to do things which are causing damage to the environment and the planet and our children and public health. Whereas uh, if you do the right thing in terms of the planet and the people, you probably will make less money or even lose money. Unless we change that, you cannot expect farmers and food producers to make the change that's necessary. So that is why we put so much emphasis on this issue. And we hope that over the next couple of days, we're going to make some progress in identifying the barriers to change and in investigating the ways in which we can intervene, and there are many of them, to create a more favorable environment. I feel more positive about the possibility of that happening than any time in the 43 years I've been farming and involved with advocacy in one way or another for sustainable food. I think something is going on right now which is unstoppable.